Right now, I would say it, it's better than the, uh, what, what is supposed to be the gold test, which is the PCR, because PCRs have been evaluating since uh, the last month. They've been uh, increasing the amount of uh, amplification cycles, and they turn to be uh, less uh, reliable than they used to be. So, uh, so the dogs today, to me and to a bunch of other people, are more reliable than, than the PCRs. And what sort of methods are you using to train the dogs up? Well, we, we, we use the same methods than, uh, than one would use for uh, um, explosive detection dogs. The only difference is that we work the dogs on samples, uh, armpit uh, sweat samples, and uh, so we work them online on detection cones. Um, roughly, uh, to, to make the demonstrations that it did work, it took us two, three weeks, but uh, now to, to, to go to the validation, the scientific validation of each dog with his uh, specificity and sensibility, it's going to take five to six weeks. Um, and, and that's it. I mean, right now we only have 10 operational dogs in France, and I'm just waiting for the French administration to react or at least to say hello or come and see the dogs because uh, it works and it could be, uh, I guess, very useful to the uh, society. And you're saying that any breed of dog can be trained into doing this. So potentially you could have a chihuahua that could go along and sniff some sweat samples and then tell somebody if they've got COVID-19. Yeah, any dog could do it, definitely. I mean, with the cones we use, uh, with chihuahua, the, the cones are a little bit too big, but, uh, but chihuahua could be trained as, uh, as much as the others. That's, uh, the breed of the dog is not the problem. We just avoid the dogs with short noses because they, uh, they have less surface of... Uh, olfaction uh, mucosa, but a part of that, any dog can do it, and that, that's what happens uh, all over the world. We have uh, 25 countries following us now on our NOSAIS uh, program, that's the name of our program at the, the vet school, uh, 15 other countries that are working on their side, but most of them also on sweat, and uh, everybody reaches the, uh, the, the same uh, results. I mean, all these dogs are, are between 94 to 98, 99% of uh, sensibility, so, of sensitivity. So uh, that's why I, I just don't understand why in France we, uh, we cannot move faster and we, we don't get any help. Um, when you see what happens for other tests, it's just, uh, it's just amazing.